Humor is really natural to me. It comes really naturally. Humor is something that's inherent in humans, and that even if it were suppressed in some way, it will bubble up, and that it will just always surface. The title of the installation is "A Cat Is Not a Dog," and this is a title from a film made in 2019 called "Cats 19." A sort of film adaptation of the musical Cats. It's very simply that there's nothing deep or serious or intellectual. It literally is that people like cats. And I also thought oddly it matched with the, how I consider the rotunda to be quite awkward architecturally. So within the rotunda, the shape of the architecture is a cylinder. It is a circle with a ceiling which is glass, and you're aware of the sky. Within the cylinder, there are Exits and entrances to different places, and I've placed the heads so that you can walk through them, and it's as if they're portals or supposedly passageways to somewhere else, imaginative. I'm exhibiting the sets or the huge, in my mind, props that would be part of performances previously, but today. For this occasion, they're being exhibited as sculptures in their own right, and so I guess you could somehow say that they're still performative and, and, and interacted with. The cat head was very interestingly, in my opinion,、uh, generated for a show about Alice in Wonderland, the、um, Lewis Carroll influence onto the Surrealists, and the cat head was the fun, playful, but not cute and sentimental entrance. So that in itself was not made specifically for a performance, but it feels very performative somehow. But the other two, the Hellmouth Three, which is the green, ugly kind of grumpy monster, and the one that's like a little、um, colourful head, both of them were made specifically to be interacted with for live events. So I really enjoy experimenting. I really love materials. Some of the materials I love in these sculptures. I love paper mache. I love wicker, and I love also、uh, cotton. Any cotton ducts. There's、uh, absorbent natural fibre. A lot of the materials I'm using are biodegradable. Usually, I'm inspired to make a project through a piece of information that I come across. Through the piece of information will anger me or irritate me. Famously, like the grit in the oyster that makes the pearl. When I make work, I will、uh, reference something from high culture or like a heavy metal, you know, Alice Cooper production. Or I will be cheered up or spurred on by different kinds of reassurances that I will cross-reference. The green hellmouth, for example, was made for this、um, festival in Birmingham. It was a venue for bands to play on. People being transported or sort of, you know, like a, through a passageway. When someone was to ask me, like, why would you do it? It's really an experiment. I genuinely do not wish to control people. What I seem to be able to do is、um, offer some sort of playfulness or morale boost or some sort of like generosity. But I will work very hard to generate uh, more, uh, basically, what I'd say, fun happen in the world. And when it comes to the installation here. It hopefully enables people to be a little bit surprised when they come through this corridor. So I don't try to make some clever combination of elements that unlocks people. It's more that I'm doing the Brechtian thing. I'm trying to make people aware of what they're analysing, and if they like it, step in consciously.